<clears throat> okay, I think I am live. Hopefully, hopefully you see me, Leah, and hear me. Um, and I should... Great job being, <laughs> great job being early, Leah. So uh, we should be getting hit any minute with a raid, which is a new feature that YouTube has, which if somebody else is live, they can raid your channel and they send everyone watching their live to your live automatically. So my friend Debbie J, she is just finishing up her live. So what she'll do is raid my channel by sending everyone in her live to mine. Hey Cordelia. Hey Gloria. Did you guys, did you, are you guys here through the raid or did you guys come on your own? <clears throat> Raiding. Oh, good. Hello, Heather. Maureen. Hey, Ellen. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. Welcome. You believe this, guys? I'm live twice this week. Twice. I can't even believe it. So, <clears throat> it's funny. I was watching um, some gel printing stuff. And um, it got me thinking, because <laughs> I was admiring my leaves outside, which are changing color. And that is one of the, the, my little thumbnail is actually a tree in my yard. It's the first tree that always turns in the fall. And uh, hey, Mary Landers. So <laughs> I thought... It would be interesting to take some leaves and imprint them on the gel plate and you can also have your colored fall leaves wherever you are. I'm just cleaning my plate because I was practicing with some stuff because I found out I found this really cool technique also so I thought I would uh try it out and of course my my plate is disgustingly messy because I've been playing it and I've got paint stuck to it, and I might do one more pull. Some white. Thank you, WJ. Smashing the light. Thank you for the raid, also. I appreciate you. Even though I don't have little ghosties flying across my screen. So I am just cleaning my plate. And this is a five inch by five inch plate. I mean, I kind of like that. I can add to it. I picked up all my bits. And guys, I have a heap in pile. So I picked some leaves. I have some that were green, um, but I also got some that were um, already turning color from my trees. I just wanted to try those to see if they would work. And they did work, so. Whether your leaves are brown or um, green, just grab any different color, different um, shaped leaves from around your yard. I was looking for some really cool ones earlier. I just, I don't know, I guess my imagination is just... I think I'm going to flip my plate. Whoops. Because it can. And I love this little plexiglass. It works as a register, which is really cool, where you can pick it up and you can kind of line up your, your plate um, to where you want to put it for a pull, which is cool. I'm going to try, see if I have enough paint on here. Hi, Mag. How are you? Oh, I've been doing a lot of cards, so I thought I would do some kind of mixed media something so that I could... Uh, I need something to add to my journals. <laughs> I haven't been, uh, I've been neglecting my journals. They're hollering from the shelf. Hey, what about me? So, yeah. 
I, so this is how the registration works. If I want to use this and line it up exactly over it, which I don't mind that we're covering it up, I can press it down, turn it over, and rub it out. Hi, Cordelia. Struggling with the dye? Oh, you got a shim in there? You know, give it a good squeeze. And I saw, hello, Barbara. Let me look. It is cool, Leah. Have you ever done uh, gel pulling, gel press? Oh, hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara Drake. How are you? I'm so glad you joined tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm making it worse. <laughs> well, who cares? I'm just going to go with it. I don't really care. I probably need to clean my plate. You know, Mary Alice, I probably need to clean my plate. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to start out. I'm going to put some yellow. That's some nice bright yellow because I'm not seeing a lot of yellow outside yet. I did get one little section of trees in a picture earlier that I sent to the crafty group that was had some nice yellows in it. And this um, stuff is just a tube paint. It's acrylic. And, oh, this one's yucky. They're, they're yucky old. Some of them are old. Some are, they're all old, but some of them are more dry. And I use those for other things. And I can, I have a float medium that I use that, like, softens the paint a little. <clears throat> but I just use these. They're perfect for the um, gel plate, in my opinion. So I'm not going for a perfect blend. Nope, never done anything with a gel plate. Don't even have one. Well, <gasps> hi, Pam. How are you? I've so missed you around the web. Life is so dull without you. All right. So I want to take these leaves that I found. They already do have some paint because I have used them. But I'm going to use them again because I found I can use them several times. And I'm just going to lay these leaves from around my yard. Whoops. And I'm when I'm laying them down also, I am putting them vein side toward my plate. Toward my plate. And I'm just random. Oh, my goodness. I probably screwed that one up. Um, I'm going to put that one there. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can do this and be talented enough to kind of read the chat. Hey, it's... <laughs> oh, Donna, no gel plate, no gel press for you either, huh? Well, hopefully you guys can find this interesting enough to feel moved to um, pick one up. All right. So I have my leaves on there. This is just plain old copy paper that you put through your printer. I'm going to carefully lay. Oh, I hear some crunching. I have a brayer on this side that I will use to kind of give it a good squish. You don't have to have a brayer to do that. You can just use your hands and give it a good rub. These have been in here for a few hours as I had to practice, you know. I always, uh, I'm always afraid of uh, just going, <laughs> just winging it because I'm afraid if it doesn't work, well, what the heck? <sighs> and I learn things along the way, like what not to do. All right. Oh, good. It was dry enough so I can pull that off and I have a beautiful impression of my leaves. So... And I'll show you a little tip that I learned earlier too after for the next pull because I forgot to do it this time. I'm going to carefully pull all my leaves off. <clears throat> Lay this down. And I can see right through this plate and I am going to press it in place. Give it a good rub. Yes, doesn't work. 
print again. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right. I'm going to pull off. And ta-da! I have some leaves. Now, if I wanted to print over this again, I might do another one. Let's try another one. <clears throat> And you guys, this is just cheap. This is Dollar Tree acrylic paint, and it works fabulous. Works fabulous. It's you know a little, a little runny, but you know what? That's perfect. I like it. Keeps it wet a little longer. I like that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go. I'm just going to put a few specks of green in there. And I'm going to go this way. And it's okay if it mixes and gets a little muddy. It looks like a Christmas ornament now. Um, I'm going to try my leaves again. Oh, actually... I think what I want to do is I'm going to pull, I'm trying to remember what I learned earlier. All right, I'm going to set this. Am I in camera or out of camera? Let me see if I can get a better view here. Oh, no, that made it worse. Well, by golly, guys, close your eyes so I don't make anybody sick. There, how's that? Let's get my full plate. <clears throat> so I'm gonna set this like this. Let's see if I get this right. My head is so tired. <laughs> All right. Then I saw someone take, you guys probably can't see the top of me, but I am putting a piece of painter's tape at the top of my paper where it lays over off of my gel plate. And I am going to pull it up. Oops. And this is for those of you that don't have plexiglass. I guess this is a great way because this girl was doing this and I was like, oh, that's fabulous. All right. So if I can get it to stay up there. Now. Maybe I'm thinking, how do I want to do that? You guys, I'm totally lost. Maybe I should read the chat, but there's some good coaching going on. <laughs> oh my goodness, Debbie. <laughs> so flooding the, flooding the chat. I think I was supposed to do this before. I think I did it backwards. I think I did it backwards. So my brain is not um, functioning. I'm in a food coma. That's it. I'm in a food coma. <laughs> Don't laugh too loud, Leah. It's late at your house. All right, we're going to try this again. I'm trying to think if I want to use it. I think I'm just going to use another piece of paper. And then when I pull these, I'm going to lay that back down on it. Could I do this on my glass mat instead of that plate? Um, Donna, you really need the... the so the paper, you could try it. You could probably get some fun effects. But the gel plate is made of gelatin. And if you notice, it, your paper kind of sticks to it. It's like it, it sucks it up. Like, oh, I like that one. I'm glad I didn't use the same piece. All right. I'll pull these leaves off. And look at the beautiful colored leaves you guys are going to have after. 
Woo woo. I still haven't found the pokey to my pokey tool, you guys. My crafting self is so sad. No pokey to my pokey tool. So I ended up moving my paper a little. So I'm just going to line this up right at the very top. Oops. Let me silence my phone. There. Uh, sorry, Debbie. That was my, my that was my seven o'clock reminder to breathe because yes, I need a reminder to breathe several times throughout the day. <laughs> oh, good gracious! <laughs> Hello, Sherry D. <laughs> I know where you get one, Dawn. You know where I get one what? Oh, a pokey tool. Yes, Gloria, you sure do. All right, I love that. It's very subtle with the green, the bluish green leaves, but I love how bright that is. Oh. I, <laughs> Leah, uh, I know we breathe involuntarily, but that's the thing. We breathe involuntarily, so we need to voluntarily, mindfully breathe. <laughs> so I set a reminder several times a day. It keeps my oxygen levels high in my bloodstream, which keeps your cortisol levels low. So, um, yes. So when I take a nice deep breath in through my nose and out through my mouth, and I do that three times to the count of six and out the count of three, or in the count of three, out the count of six. Intentionally breathe deep. Yes, Debbie. Hey, Dahlia. My watch strongly suggested to me. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Mine too. Oh, Sherry, I'm so sorry about your dad and a sinus infection and your mother-in-law. Oh, yes. You like that? I like this one, too. And I think I want to um, do an imprint on this one. I want to use it again, but uh, I might put something over it. <clears throat> I like this one, too. All right, let's try. Hmm. I will go with a little yellow green. I gotta try to figure this out. How to get my light, um, my leaves. And don't open your tube paints over your gel plate or you get little dried bits that fall out of the lid. We don't want that. And you guys know when you set your brayer down to set it, always set it upside down. I know some people are more experienced and realize some people are new to it and don't realize. Oh, I like how greenish this one is. All right. Um, I am going to add some more yellow. More yellow streaks in there because I found some really cool leaves earlier. I've painted them all, but oh, they were so pretty. <clears throat> they were bright red, but they had some big splotches of green in them and I love that this one's pretty with the red but yeah pretty cool oh right here isn't that gorgeous and I didn't make it mother nature did Oh God, sorry for the background noise. I have a feeling I'm doomed with lives. It's not just Sunday night. Thank goodness I didn't go live on Monday night. 
All right, so I think I do this. I'm trying to think of how I'm supposed to um, do the second color. How did I see that now? See, I did it and now I forgot. And I did a ton of these. You should see all the prints I did. <laughs> Oh, the screen one? <laughs> All right, I think I pull. Uh, let me show you some of the other ones I did. They were fabulous. So, also, to all those crafters out there... Oh, I have some plain ones I want to use, too. Um... All those little crafty peeps that have magazines, that have actually the foil, foiling things and laser printers and all that jazz. Oh, here's one I did earlier. Is that like super awesome? So I'm trying to remember how I did it. I forgot. And I did this one with some copper paint over the top. This one. And this one I had a little texture, the leaves, I added too much because it took away, but I was reading how you can do the texture here. This one looks really nice. The bubble wrap. I love this one. This is my favorite out of all of them. And I used like a dark um, navy blue and like purple on, on the edges after. Oh, it's so nice. So I learned a little something. You guys probably that have um, laser printers probably know this little tip trick. You know you can get these little toner foil sheets and things. These are from a long, long time ago in a Brutus Monroe kit. It's the only sheets that I have that are these toner sheets. But I saw a really cool trick online that you can use these to pull you should have wrote the instructions in your planner. <laughs> yes, Donna. I probably should have. Oh, that would have been a, another whole ordeal because I would have had to dig. Uh, you guys, I am so guilty of not using my planner lately. I just, I can't plan. It's so depressing when I don't keep up. So I love this one too. And this one. I love the green. This one I used a glitter, oh, sorry, Pam. I used this um, chunky gold uh, folk art um, multi-surface acrylic paint. It's really cool. I like it because guess what? When it goes down, it doesn't come off. And then this one I did by rotating the plate. Well, that's what was happening to me, Leah. I was failing, like not failing, well, I was. I was failing to look in my planner and see the things, and then I would come back to it a few days later, and I'm like, crap, I totally, I totally did realize that, or I missed that, or oh, just, I got too discouraged. I think I might go back to it. I'm going to try. I'm just going to keep trying, trying and trying again. All right, now I'm trying to remember. I think... I'm going to leave those down and I am going to put some blue. I think I can do this. Ah! We shall try. Come on, a little bit of purple. Dun, dun, dun. Try to think of what else. I think, oh, I don't know if I did this right. Probably not. Oh, I took up a leaf. That was the last roll, folks, <laughs> on that one. So let me pick that up, lay this down. Um, yep. 
Yep, I'm gonna pull all these off. Ooh. Okay. And turn it right. That's what I love about this thing. I can see right through it for the most part. Ta-da! Hi, Crystal! Paint down first, then the leaves. Yes, Crystal. Oops! You guys should have seen my hands before I started making dinner. <laughs> I was covered! Oh, come up there. And I save these. I don't throw them out. These make great paper beads. Just saying. For all those paper bead rollers out there. Alright. Let's see if I how this one looks. It's always a surprise. Huh. Not bad. A little dark green. I'm going to cut them all up. I'm going to mix them. I'm going to do a new trick that Miss Elizabeth taught me. Yeah. Okay. I want to try something. So, I'm going to put down this yellow paint. This is not fall leaves. But I want to see if I can get it to work. Because I tried it earlier and it kind of worked. And I was like, oh! So when you put down your paint, Oh, it's a little too much here. I'm going to go kind of light. And I'm going to take this foil sheet. This is one of those hot foil things. I have no hot, I have no laminator. I have no way to use these, so it doesn't bother me to use these like this. Um, No, I have not, Leah, tried the, the linoleum printing. Lino printing. That would be fun. So I'm going to pull this up. Oh, I hope it works. Hopefully. So what is supposed to happen, I don't see that it happened that well on this. So I'm going to see. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it with some white so I can maybe see it better. And hopefully I can catch it quick enough and I can make it happen. Elizabeth, you're like so good at this stuff that you probably already know what's going to happen. I forget I can just turn my plate. All right, let me try it again. Or maybe I try it with the bathtubs. So I got the bathtubs too. And I'm going to use a piece that I did earlier and just press it. We Are Memory. HSN has a really cool permanent We Are Memory Keepers print screen on sale right now. And you can make shirts. Oh, that's really cool. And Leah says she did lino printing at the university. Somehow lost all her carving tools. Um, still have linoleum. Yes. And I don't know. Am I frozen? Ooh. Copper plate engraved printing. Am I frozen, Pam? All right, hopefully I didn't leave that too long. Let's see. Oh, darn it. It didn't work again. Okay, so what's supposed to happen? <laughs> I'm showing you guys what not to do. Let's try it one more time. See if I can pull some of these, whoops, pull some of these ducks. Maybe I'm not adding enough. I did read, when I was reading about this, I did read it can be kind of tricky. Kind of tricky. And it is kind of tricky because I tried several times earlier and it was like, ugh. sometimes it took and then 
sometimes it didn't. And it might not take now because I already have a layer down. No, it's not going to do it. Okay, what's supposed to happen is all this black is all that laser printed. And it might be the cheap paint too. Maybe I used my thicker paint earlier. Will resist the paint. So the paint will stay every place that there's black. Just like when you use a magazine page. I don't know. I tried some magazines earlier. Some of them hit, some of them miss. It's a touch and go. Um, this one, I don't know if this one's too dark. I can try it. I'll try it and see what happens. Yes, Gloria, you can use a magazine, but these, the magazine, the reason that it stays is that the black ink is actually laser printed so that it comes off on the, um, on the plate. Yeah, this one didn't have enough, um, didn't have enough, what do you call it, uh, contrast. So when you, when you put it down, that laser printed image will resist the paint. Well, this is one way to clean my plate, I guess. And I can always use this in something later. So, yeah. And I, I don't really have a lot of magazines and stuff, so it's kind of hard for me to... I had this main one that Willie picked up somewhere, and it doesn't really have a lot of contrasting images, like... You have to have something with some black in there that's going to lift off. Like this one's a lot of black. I don't know. I mean, we can we can practice. We can try it. Um. Yes, and that's what I read too, Mary, was um, a very thin layer of paint. And, you know, I'm thinking, and I wasn't paying attention earlier when I was doing it, to know if it was um, the tube paint, which is a little more heavy body. It's a little thicker, even though it's cheap. It's still, you know, thicker. And then um, this stuff that comes in these bottles, especially the Dollar Tree ones, these are thinner. They're just so thin. But it's fun to try it. I mean, I kept going and trying to pull. And I got a really neat one earlier. Um, I tried. And I layered up the paints. And you can see my person that was standing. But see, I didn't have a lot of images. And while it was down, I just took some paint and made it look like the ocean, the water, and the sky. And just did a bunch of, with a paintbrush, on, right on my plate. And then I pulled it all at once with the contrast, the light tan in the back. So that was neat. Oh, guess what? I see a little tiny bit of the bike. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see the bike? See how it stayed? It resisted. And this is what happens. And that, But then you have to be patient. That's when you have to be patient. You have to let it dry. I think it is too, too wet. Lay your paper over and see what happens. Uh, can you explain? Gloria, lay your paper over it and see what happens. Like the magazine paper, this. I could try this too. And maybe just get the bottom part where the trees are. <sighs> that might make a good... Um... So, now I have that. I'll have to try something that's super contrasty. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do a little blue. It looks fairly dry. 
<laughs> we shall see. And don't do as I say, not as I do. So I, no, I'll just go with the green brayer, I guess. Or yellow green. I was hoping for a magazine that had a bunch of um, like leaves. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be some fall images in there. All right, let's try. Let's try this. I just kind of want to know where the end of my image is. Boom. Oh, did I just stick the wrong thing on? Oh, you guys, I'm so brain <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Forget it. I just ruined my woods. <laughs> but I saved those too. You guys are not getting any lessons from me tonight. So just watch. This is an oops video. Oh my gosh, look. I got the words up. I started to <laughs> some of my words. But I lost my bike. And I notice I have so many bubbles in my um so many bubbles and dips in my uh, plate. <sighs> Might just be the way I'm laying my paper down, but it started to do it. Yeah, see the words, Crystal? Can you believe it? It's weird. It's cool. So that's on my to-do list is to start rating the newsstands and picking up some, um, some magazines. <laughs> Maybe I can try this one. That's kind of cool, huh? I'll cut it out so I can kind of line it up, sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. And then I'll go back to my leaves. i got to figure out the leaf thing. I don't know how I forgot how to do it. Oh, I guess that's going to come off anyway. Oop. Hopefully I didn't just pull that. Okay. Looks good though. <laughs> Elizabeth, you must be cracking up. <laughs> I can't wait to play with the house die. Uh, I saw in WJ's live, you guys, a lot of you guys got the house die off of uh, scrapbook.com so you guys will have to come along and play with Elizabeth and I on her channel uh, next Wednesday not tomorrow alright we're going to try it and I'll just use one of these Only because you have... <laughs> huh. Oh, great, Leah. That's awesome. Oh, no. You're not stealing my people. I'm sharing them with you. <laughs> All right. Let's try this. You think I let it dry enough? Oh. I see some woods only on one side <laughs> I see a few little little trees <sighs> whatever let's go back to leaves oh cool Donna you'll love it there Elizabeth's channel is super awesome when I was working all the time, I used to just, um, I used to lurk. <laughs> I used to watch Elizabeth and um, I used to come home from work and I was so tired. I would just go lay in bed and watch YouTube videos. 
you know, I used to watch Elizabeth a lot, and I watched some other channels too, but I was really drawn to Elizabeth's channel, Elizabeth's crowd. It was just fun, and you can kind of tell a lot just by sitting back and watching, and then I was like, yeah, I think these are my peeps. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to lay the paper down on this plain piece of paper. I think I just had a memory jog. Memory jog, yeah, that's it. Sometimes it comes in and out. It's like my, it's like my, uh, it's like my hot flashes, you know. I'm hot sometimes, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> All right. So we are going to have this beautiful green, and it might even have a few little silhouettes of trees. And now we are going to take some beautiful colors of blue, maybe a little... Maybe a little reddish orange. Whose name? Leah, is Glassbella the name of your channel? Oh, yes it is. That is the name of her channel. Thank you, Elizabeth, for putting Leah's channel in. I appreciate that. We will share the love. But anyone who goes over there, don't forget where you came from. Find your way home. <laughs> All right. Now. I hope I get this right, guys. I totally can't remember what I'm doing. And I think I just put... Uh, ah, I love that over that. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Veins down. <laughs> really? On Elizabeth's link, you get that too, Pam? Hmm. See, I don't think I was supposed to go over my leaves earlier, guys. I kind of like muffed the uh, leave up. Oh well. And I love these little guys. These are off of my um these are off of my apple tree. And I love the veining. It's so deep, but the leaves, they want to curl. It's really not that great for trying to do an impression. So I'm going to carefully block my leaves. That is odd. Got it on the second try. <laughs> Good. Okay, Leah, when you get to your uh, your uh, said subscriber number, we want to see a live video. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. These ladies like lives. They will come visit you when you are alive. Oh, <gasps> you guys, I think I did it right. <laughs> Except I pulled my tape up, but that's all right. I have a, I have my secret um, plan that I can do. See, I can see it. So I can just do this. Bloop. I love the registration and I can line it up and it's all pretty and then I lay it down and flip it and give it a good rub oh good Leah that'll be exciting <laughs> awesome we shall spread the love Spread the love. Grow that channel. Yeah. 
you guys can go back and forth because what is it leah uh crystal's got a channel you got elizabeth's channel already try to think oh you guys i'm glad i didn't show it are you ready for the big reveal gloria did you peek look oh ta-da see i told you i had a memory in lapse it's like the opposite of a relapse like it went back and it triggered now, now I remember. I want to try it again before I forget. <laughs> oh, there's Crystal's link. I don't know who else is in here that has channels. I think it's just us. Thanks, Elizabeth. See, after I have a oops reel or a bloops reel or whatever, whatever you want to call that, a blunder. Blunders and bloops. I love the different colors in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try something else. La, 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 la. I'm just gonna let's just go crazy. I love this. Ooh, I love this. I'm gonna take some of that off. So now, hopefully, for all those gel plate uh, players out there. We'll see some off in the places that don't have fall leaves. We will start seeing some fall leaves. <laughs> because it is pretty. And now everybody can make fall leaves. Aww. You're welcome, Leah. Thank you, Gloria. Yep, that's the way it's... <laughs> See, Mary, takes me a minute. I'm a little slow. Just call me Leo. I know the feeling, Heather. Work really got in the way of my crafting dreams, too. <laughs> I can't believe you got snow, Crystal. I am just, like, floored. <gasps> oh, this is going to be nice. Okay, that's going to be our leaf color. So what do you think? What colors should we put over that? A little blue? A little blue? What else? A uh, little blue? I want some contrast. No snow. I know, Gloria. No snow. Ugh. You guys, I also have metallics I can add. I have some bronze, some antique gold, some copper, um, some regular gold. Oh, let's see if I can get this around and smoothed out enough. Stop talking, start rolling, Dawn. There we go. I'm so glad I cleaned my desk. Gave myself room. <laughs> I like that kind on the outside. <clears throat> and I think I need to change my paper. Oh, I'm going to have some massive, awesome jelly, uh, like my clean off sheets for, um, Paper beads. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to um, use a little bit of copper around the outside. <gasps> Hi, Melissa. Late as always, that's okay. That's okay. 
I wouldn't say late. Okay. So I think I'm just going to do a little. Oh, look at that. It kind of leaves a little string. It's kind of stringy. Because I'm going to kind of try to roll it. Just around the outside edges and see what we get. Just out of curiosity. Ooh, looky, looky. It's so pretty. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. I don't know, but I'm thinking I might have to. I gotta hurry up, or else I'm gonna lose my. Uh... Well, it might not be too dry yet. Oh yes. Well, no, it's good. It's good. I'll put that right over it. Ah, oh, love these leaves. I wish they would leave a better. I wish they didn't dry. These ones dry so much. Okay. We're going to line up. I'll lay it over. I'm going to lift a little bit so I can flatten that. There we go. Yes, I do. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> love it so much so much I have so many pretty um, roll off papers it's unbelievable you should see my stack <laughs> look at and even these little prints that didn't work out I tried like the bubbles earlier I got a few of the impressions but I used these ones to start of these foiling sheets be, that I tried foiling but my laminator, I lent it out and I got it back broken. And yeah, not broken, but it just, it wouldn't work right. So I guess broken, yeah. A little wet still. What? Ah! <laughs> Oh, Leah, you are talking to the queen of chocolate, which is Miss Pam. <laughs> it's and the rest of us. It's always time for chocolate here. <laughs> I had some chocolate kisses earlier, Pam. I hope you're. Uh... And oh, by the way, Pam, so your card will be a little late. <laughs> I got it back in the mail because I did a stack of thank you cards and. <sighs> I thought I put stamps on all of them and I missed yours and one other one and I was like darn it so yep found it in the mailbox a couple days later like what the and why do I have to wait a couple days I mean granted there was a Saturday Sunday in there but still I should have put a little note back on it when it says not enough postage says po I should have put well postage is too high <laughs> postage is too high all right here we go it's hard to see and it's hard not to get I don't want to get my head in the screen but I might try some darker leaves and do some lighter on the outside oh Mary Landers you got one cool Glad they're starting to reach people. Good, good. Yeah, I had a, I had a few. WJ, <laughs> I was like, whoops. I go through and slap them on. Some of them, I get too busy stamping and. All right, I love this one too. Oh, love it. 
Oh my gosh, can you guys see the... I don't think I can make this. I don't know how to make it zoom in, so I'll have to just hold it up so you guys can see. Oh, good. Cordelia, you got hers too. Well, they're coming, everyone. They're coming. <sighs> yeah, so I'm trying to think. I wonder what would do if I do some red on the back and do a little light yellow. And I like all this green that's still on there. That makes my heart happy. Like, like, like. And in case you guys didn't notice, I have I have several brayers. So I keep one that I keep clean. This one I think I accidentally started to wipe something in. Oops. Or I used it over the back of something that was kind of wet. But I have one for lighter colors and then I have one for darker colors. It just makes my life easier. And then I have my clear one that I sometimes go over with... Uh, and I think this one I might try to actually do a little texturing. Maybe I'll add some... Oh, I'll, if I add lines, that will take away from the lines and the leaves. So I don't want to add lines. I think I'm going to take this lovely piece of bubble wrap that I have yeah, And just lay it down and tap real quick and lift it up. Ta-da! And then... And we'll pull off my stack. What time we got? We doing good? Scan and sell the prints. I, Elizabeth, I don't have a scanner. <laughs> oh, you're lucky, Pam. Mine doesn't. My postal work. My, I don't know where my regular postal guy is, Rob. He, I, he either quit or went on another route because I know they are shorthanded at our postal office. So maybe he took another route and they put the new guy on this one. I feel like this is an easy route, but oh, I miss Rob and I'm not, I don't know. I'm on the fence about putting fudge in the mailbox this year because this guy, he just doesn't want to bring anything to the door. He's just so lazy. Like I have to go down. He squeezes. If I have a box, he will try to, sque he squeezes it in there. So, so tight. That it's, I, I hardly, I feel like I'm going to pull the stick out of the ground when I pull it out of the mailbox. I'm like, seriously, dude? <sighs> yeah. All right. So we went red, quite red. But I like that. And it pulled up some bits from the leaves before, which I like. Now I'm going to do some yellow. And maybe... This yellow, that's kind of like a yellow, it's like a yellow ochre or cadmium yellow or. <sighs> Gives me like streaks, I like it. It's funny sometimes when I use the gel press that <clears throat> sometimes I get a really cool look if I leave it super wet. I'm really upset about these divots. I think it's time to invest in another plate. I don't know. Maybe it's the way it's stuck to my plexiglass on the other side. I don't know. Anywho. <sighs> um, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, brain freeze. Oh, sometimes I get some really cool effects. Like when it's thinner paint, <clears throat> I, it, I get a nice surprise. Other times it goes bleh and just doesn't work. But to me, every print is usable because I can add to it. Um, I can add to it. I could stamp on it. I can cut them up. I think I'm going to make some really cool collage paper or clusters or something for my for my junk journal out of out of this. All right. So, I'm going to line up 
my corners and layer down. I'm a little off, but that's okay. I think my postal worker uses her foot to shove stuff in my mailbox. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm thinking mine does the same thing. Wow. Oh, you got your cards too? Oh, okay, Gloria. Yes, fudge, Debbie J. <laughs> I like to make things for my postal worker when he's a good postal worker. <laughs> uh, I had a postal worker for years. I've been here 22 years, and probably 15 of those years, I had Steve, my postal guy, Steve, and he was great. And I miss him so much. He retired. And then um, we had some fill-ins, and then my friend Rob, his wife worked with my daughter at the vet, veterinary hospital. So it was really cool. They were good people. He was a good male person. And I don't know if this yellow is going to show up very well. Ugh. And, um, yeah. And then all of a sudden, I, this, this other guy has been coming. I'm like... What the and then when he does bring a package that won't fit after he's looks like it's he's tried to shove it in with his foot he brings it up the driveway and then he I was like I look at him like is any he go any other mail like I'm waiting because that's what Rob used to do if we bring my packages he just bring all my mail to the door you know and the guy's like oh the rest of your mail's in the mailbox it's like seriously like what in the heck all right, this one's going to be super subtle, guys. I can't even see to, to uh, register. <laughs> I'm going to have to guess. I guess I the yellow and the red didn't work. It really needs to be a nice contract. Fudge and cookies. Yeah, yeah, me too, Pam. I like, I like doing that. But, you know... I should put a note in there in the mailbox that says, come get your, come pick up your fudge at the door. <laughs> we'll see how bad he wants it. Yeah, shipping is expensive, Leah. It really is. All right. Oh, we got a nice, oh, pretty clean. I don't know, that little divot. happy with that. Get out of there. It's funny. <clears throat> My intentions for this live, I was going to make a, um, a, a fun fold card. <laughs> and then uh, I was outside admiring the tree and I sent some pictures in the little crafty group um, of my trees. <laughs> And some people had commented not having, not having um, colorful trees like that. So I'm going to look real quick because I'm thinking I have a leaf stamp. Just for giggles. I want to see what I got. So... <clears throat> Um, over the years, I've picked up a few of these little guys. Oh, come on. Come off of there. They're like little foam stamps. And at first, I, was, I got them when my kids were little. They used to use them in their finger paint and a little tempera paint and stuff like that. And it was easy. I could just put them in the sink and wash them. And uh, so some of them I've had for ages. <clears throat> I cleaned them when they used them. Now that they're in my stash, they never get cleaned. <laughs> but anyway, these guys are fabulous for, it's, it reminds me, I don't own any of the foam stamps, but there's, um. oh, goodbye, Cordelia. Thanks, Cordelia. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. I do a deep blue green mix over the red orange. Oh, all right. Let's try that. Let's try that. How about I? 
How about I do this? I'll add some blue and yellow. We'll make green. Um, ooh, look at that. So pretty. Um, anywho, these foams, I see that like Joggles sells, because Elizabeth St. Hilaire, she has foam stamps that she makes along with her stencils and stuff. And I wonder if they're a lot like these, these foam stamps. Pretty much the same. I mean, look, a buck, buck 29, but so, um, yeah, so when I see some cool images of them, I pick them up because I'm like, man, these are awesome for the gel plate. <clears throat> I'm going to hang some off the edge here. Bloop. All right, here we go, Elizabeth. I'm lining her up. We're doing a blue-green. It's going to be nice and dark. It's going to be pretty, I think. Yeah, so uh yeah, so I look every time I go out and, and sometimes the toy section, the kids section, you can find some cute little images. Alright, this one was wet still when I put this over, so it's going to be wet still. <laughs> Plus, I had a lot of darn paint on there. Yeah. So, uh, is anybody still making fall cards? Or Halloween cards? Has everybody moved on to Christmas? Elizabeth, I am so excited about the um, the house die. <laughs> I've been trying to think up some brainstorm some ideas. You've been doing fall cards, Melissa, or you moved on to Christmas? And Heather says, I am. I need to get 80 made for nursing homes. Oof. And hello, Jim. Jim is still waiting for his Simon Stamp Happy Haunted House kit to arrive. And Pam says I still have October birthdays to make cards for. Melissa says, oh, she's been making Halloween. And Elizabeth is totally doing Christmas house shakers. <laughs> I might do a Christmas one too, but I have fall stuck in my head also. Yes, Leah. Finish that journal, girl. All right, guess what? This is so wet. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. You guys are you guys are the best to just put up with me and my shenanigans. I'm sure it's not me. I'm sure it's the talk time. <laughs> right, Pam? <laughs> socializing and now I'm trying to see which one was where okay I think it went like this oh no it didn't oh crap let me flip this baby over I think it goes this way yep it does okay I thought so I usually try to put it to the top my gosh my plate is so dirty with ink around the edges i can't see my leaf huh. christmas card crystal's doing christmas cards maureen's doing with birthday cards oh Pam got a treehouse card from Elizabeth. Nice. 
Was it a 3D one, Elizabeth? Yeah, I like when they arrived on Smush. Let me tell you, Cordelia sent my card. It had little gemstones on it. And she had even put non-machinable on it. And the post guy pushed it through the machine. So all of the gems were showing. Like the, the envelope ripped off of those. But it stayed intact. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I can't believe the gems are still on this card. <laughs> All right, this piece got super wet. I should have gone on to a next one. So this one was kind of muddy. We're going to try it again, Elizabeth. See how we do. Less paint. You know. Because, as we can. I'm going to start with a little yellow. I love this yellow green. Maybe I'll do this one in between because I just love it so much. And I think I'll try this and just stamp off. Stamp off. Stamp on. And what's tonight? Tuesday. You wrote non machine on my card too, but not so much. Oh no. Did they did they machine oh they i don't i think i did a couple of them and i didn't know if they needed it i don't know did yours make it okay mary landers oh gosh some of them got it and then well i wrote it and when good hopes that they would follow my direction if they thought it needed it Oh, and Donna is working on Christmas cards and also a couple fall cards. There you go, Pam. I've I've gone. It was fine. Oh, good. I've um I've gone years without cards and just sent um emails. <laughs> I'm so cheap. All right. This isn't going to work the same way, guys, because I don't have a leaf to put on there under. I'm just kind of just kind of playing and making the uh, stuff. And my leaves, I think my leaves are just getting tired. Starting to dry up with the paint on them and curl. I'm bummed about that one though because I wanted to see the um I wanted to see the copper show around the edge. Where is it? Oh, it's this one, but it didn't really show up a lot. Oh, I do love that, though. See? Oh, I love when it comes off clean. Oh, so pretty. I love it. I wonder, I wonder, 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 wonder what would happen if I took a little yellow paint and did a light, light coat and stamped and turned my plate, or well, my leaves will be in a different position anyway, but I'm thinking I could go over it. All oh, those little puckers, I'm telling you, drive me nuts. Nice. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. I think I'm just going to try to do some layers to see what it looks like. The thing with these foam ones is you have to be careful not to um, push, <laughs> push too hard. I feel it wanting to slip and slide, you know. Um... I really need to um, go on the hunt for some more of these. I love them. I'm going to try this green and yellow. Yellow over the green. See what happens. Woohoo! <laughs> Who wrote the book of love? Yes, 
you guys. I had to, um, I fell, I fell into, I had to, I, I, I broke, I caved there. That's the language I want to use. I caved. I had to turn my furnace on. Ooh, that's interesting. I can kind of see the layer underneath a little bit and a little bit, but not in all the spots, a little bit. I'm afraid to go, <clears throat> I bet I could stamp over it with something else. I like that. I think I'm gonna stop while I can still see leaves. And you guys, I keep putting my brayer the wrong way. Oh, you know what I might do actually? <laughs> I just might take that's gold. Um, I think I might use this. Can you guys still see? Am I in camera here? This is that sparkly. Oops, way too much. Chunky gold, chunky gold acrylic paint. Oh. Yeah, now look at that background. Woohoo! That's some pretty roll off right there. And I'm just gonna glitz it up. Did we lose Leah? Did she go to bed? She's falling asleep. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Can you flip the gel plate over? Is the other side flaw free? You're running the AC? Oh my gosh, Debbie. I will try that, Pam. Fell into a ring of fire. <laughs> Misty colored memories. Oh my gosh. Now your feet are cold. Pam is suggesting flip the side with let's give it shoop 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 shoo. Oh my gosh, Bella. Oh, Leah, I can't believe you're still awake at 1 a.m. Yes, I will flip my plate over again. I have flipped my plate over before. Oh, look at that. This is this one's not so devilish, Pam. This is kind of like in the middle. Not really. It doesn't come off. I love it. Oh, I love it. I think I'm going to pull one more time with another this other one. Because I think it would be pretty. And then I will clean my plate and flip it over. I think it just needs a good cleaning. take much but it took all the rest of the sparkle that was on the plate off which was good I like that all right let's see I have lots of um, little pieces on here and my plexiglass is a horrific mess look at my plate you guys it's well loved it's well loved. So for those of you that don't have one of these that's manufactured by a company like, uh, what's it called? Jelly Arts or the Gel Press or any of that good stuff. You can actually look up a recipe online for making these with gelatin. And give it a try if you have a paint roller. If not, grab your mother's rolling pin. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I would be, I would be like, oh, you took my rolling pin for what? 
Uh, Kyle Ovitz running through. Oh, gosh. Jim, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, that's no good. Yeah, I remember, Leah, when you guys, you guys had a super hot summer. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for bearing with me while I clean all these chunks off. I'm wondering if that's what causes my little divots in my, uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Oh, I have paper towel right. Yeah. <laughs> no stealing your mom's rolling pin, Leah. If you do, do not bring up my name. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad Linda changed her night, so I don't feel bad if I go over a little bit here, guys. I know Crystal's off and running. Crystal, don't feel bad. You can leave and watch the replay or not watch the replay. Whatever. I know she watches Gina K on Tuesday nights. I like Gina K too. I've been following her since way back in the 1900s. <laughs> way back as Miss Lydia would say too it's funny because that's what my daughter used to say all the time be like yeah everything you know is from 1902 back in the 1900s mom I'm like yeah okay <laughs> it's so funny all right good enough I got all the big chunks off I don't see anything big all right And I don't, whoops. See, I see a little mark there and here. So I'm thinking that's going to go down. But see, I see it over here too. I don't understand. Why is this happening, Mary Landers? What is going on? Time to buy a new one. I know, Jim. I know. I was thinking that. Yeah. I'm just going to do one drop of red. I'm, on, I'm looking for orange. Let's get a nice orange going. And then I think I'm going to do a nice purpley blue. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I love that. I can't wait till I can peel my uh, acrylic skin off of here. I'm, I'm watching it build up. and <gasps> Makes me happy. Well, I don't store on the acetate, Elizabeth. I have it on the, um, it says you can store it on the, on the plate, on the acrylic plate. I know lots of people that keep them on these, the plexiglass. Do you think it's the plexiglass? Embrace the divots. <laughs> yes, or I could make one, Pam. I should look into that and make a great big one because I can go to the thrift store and get the pans and stuff big silicone pans oh look there was some sparkle left oh it was from my brayer <laughs> I love it oh my gosh I love it all right okay Elizabeth this is it we got to get this right 
What's going to look pretty with that? Should I do blue, dark green? I don't want it to be muddy. Um, Gloria, I'm just using regular old copy paper. <clears throat> oh, this one's kind of dry. Let me try this one. Oh, yes. Guys, here goes. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> All right, maybe this will be pretty. Let me get some of that blue off. It's funny because you never can tell when it's going over. It looks beautiful on here. if I should add a little darkness around the edges should I add a little purple I'm not going to look at the chat in case anyone's screaming no because I did it <laughs> probably the printer paper causing the divots Oh, probably printer paper. Yes, that, that's what I'm saying. Copy paper, printer paper. Oh, do you think I should try storing it with the printer paper on it? Is that what you're saying, Mary Alice? All right, here goes. Let's get some leafing down. I think I might love this. I think I might love it. <laughs> My leaves are feeling quite acrylic-y, quite rubbery. <laughs> uh. It's like a, look, it's like a gathering of leaves. They're all facing inward. Let's just go with the, uh, let's just go with the flow. They're all, ah, no, no. Stay there. Okay. How's everyone holding up? Is everyone good? Can I do anything to make life easier? All right, here goes. Gosh, this is so pretty. I hope this turns out. I hope this turns out. Uh, holding up. Haha, <laughs> still awake. Oh, gosh. I hope you don't have to get up early in the morning, Leah. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow I'm going to visit an old friend. Well... She's not far away, but it's right here in town. I used to be vice president of a craft co-op in town, and it's just a small group of ladies and gentlemen that do crafty things and sell them. And it's nonprofit, so it kind of runs by the people. You guys, the people that sell, um, they actually do do time. They put their time in and uh, work days to keep the shop open. <gasps> okay, Elizabeth, that was a great idea, and this one's way better than the other one. Way better than the other one. So the woman that was president, who is also my friend, she's going to be there. It's closed for the season now, except for um, some weekends. But she was like, I'm going to be in there on Wednesday. You should come see me. So... I'm going to stop and see her. Oh, 
my gosh. I love this one so much. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This might be my last pull. <sighs> if it's good. You know, so I leave on a good note. Unless you guys want to keep seeing more, but I'm feeling like this should be uh, the end of it. Let me peek. Oh, you guys, this is so exciting. Oh, God, I just reminded myself when I did this little witchy thing. Has, who has seen Hocus Pocus 2 yet? Anyone? Anyone? I, um... I have used, well, I haven't used actual, I don't think it's deli paper. Let me see. Where is that stuff? Where is that stuff I had? I mean, it might be. I can try it. I have a piece right here. It's kind of like a um, parchment slash, I don't know, maybe it's deli paper. It came in my kit. It, so this gel plate came with things it came with this these so I'm thinking this is deli paper so maybe I'll try one yes you need to watch it it was so cute and guess what else I watched the monsters see yeah this side's got a divot too so I think I'm just gonna have to get a new one I just think that's what I'm going to have to do. Unless it's dry pieces of, like, globs of paint where it's still kind of wet. Like, get out! Get out, you lump, your air bubble. Be gone. Oh, <gasps> look! There it is. So pretty. I hope you guys can see the colors like I see them. I don't know if my lighting is that um, great, but ah, uh, that's it. All right, so should I try a piece of this? You distress the leaves? Distress the leaves. That's just what I do. Heard it from Karen Tamir. Oh, yeah. Well, so pretty. Thank you, Elizabeth. So, you guys want to, you, should I try it with one of these pieces? I think this is what Jim's talking about. It came in the kit with the gel print, so I'm thinking it must be the deli paper. This I know is not. This is wax paper that I had. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jim. I'll try. Let's, let's do a quick one. And then I'll wrap it up for all, for all, yeah. I love when my gel, my, uh, my roller, my brayer is dirty and it picks up all this beautiful color that was already on there. Okay. Here goes nothing. Try the deli paper. I thought I had used some of it. I don't know. They gave me deli paper and they gave me a bunch of this thin foam to like carve to use for marking, which I thought was cool. I haven't used them yet. I don't think, I don't remember. And then when I went thrift shopping, I found these they're made by plaid. They're for like marking and stuff, which I thought was cool. Oh, too much paint, you think, with the deli paper or, or what? Okay. <laughs> All right, Leah, don't feel ob obligated. Seriously, I don't want you to lose out on rest. It'll go up as a, you can watch the replay. 
I mean, I enjoy your I enjoy your company and that you're watching. I really appreciate you. All right, so what do you think, Jim? Wow, this stuff gets wet. Is this how it looks? Supposed to look? What? Huh? Too much paint? Okay. Well, we'll pull that one and put another piece on. Suck it up. How's that? <laughs> we'll get a twofer. We'll let the other one dry a little and we can print over it. We just keep going. Oh yeah, okay. This is a little better. I like this actually. I like the texture. <clears throat> oh, how neat. I think, you know what? I think of deli paper and I think of that, like, it's a little bit of waxiness. Like, that's what, like, our Italian sandwiches are. Our deli sandwiches we get, they're wrapped in that. This this is like that, only it's not as glossy. Like, So ours is like this, cause see, it, but it's like this texture. But the stuff we get at the deli isn't, it's more opaque, like white. But it's more, I don't know, more like that. All right, um, green, green, what should we use over the top of that? What do you guys think? <sighs> I'm afraid, I'm afraid that red's going to make. Uh, can you pull the extra deli print paint onto the copy paper? Oh, yes, I probably can. I probably can. Well, I got it up this time. And you mean instead of wasting my deli print paper? <laughs> or how about I just roll off? <clears throat> because I have such beautiful paper here going. I am going to go gather some more leaves tomorrow. I am loving these little leaves. And I was thinking I might even check some of the leaves on my peonies and my um, hydrangeas and see if any of them are pretty. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this lighter one. I don't know though. I like, uh, I can't wait too long. I think it's going to dry. You'll have to try alcohol inks on the plate. Oh yes. I, I, I do believe I have done, um, um, I have done, um, alcohol inks on, on the plate, Jim. Cause I did some gel printing with Elizabeth months ago Elizabeth and I went live excuse me live on her channel <laughs> all right Leah you can stay I'm only going to do a couple more pulls here oh oh I like that now I'm thinking I should have pulled it on this darker green one but that's okay <laughs> we're gonna see we're gonna see I think I think it's gonna be pretty Oh, I wish you guys could see the details in the leaves. They're just gorgeous. Can you see? Oh, they're just beautiful. Pam, ECR, can you link Jim's Instagram? Yes, can you? All right, let me see. I see which way it's going this way. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh. 
guys. This is so pretty. It's a little off, but that's okay. I love it. Thank you, Elizabeth. Pam, I can still set you up if you're still interested. Make it easier for you. I trust you, my dear. Even though you are TM1. But, you know. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we get. Oh, no, Jim. It might have dried. It might have dried too much. It did. But that's okay. This is pretty. I like this. And look what I have on here. See, I shouldn't have shown you guys a close-up. So I think... I'm thinking I might go over it with a yellow. What do you think? Oh, you're TM3? Oh, Maureen is TM1. <laughs> she is. Um, dude made a chitty chatty, chitty chitty bang bang car. Oh, that's cool. Uh, TM. <laughs> I'll let Pam tell you. Um, Elizabeth and Jim, what do you think? I'm gonna I'm gonna print this on this darker one, but what do you think I should use? Because I don't want to spoil all this green yellow. Should I just do a light coat of yellow and pull? So I can still get the green through a little bit. White. Oh, white. I never thought of that. <laughs> I've been doing all these folly colors and I forget I have white. White. Uh. How many of you are there? <laughs> Don't be afraid, Leah. Listen, you could be one of them if you'd like. <laughs> All right, here goes with white. Oh, I hope I see some of the green through. I saw some other really cool things, too. But there isn't a number two. <laughs> or cream. I could have done cream, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I think... I think, Leah, I don't know. It goes by discrimination of Pam. She's like the, she's like, she might not be TM1, but she's the, uh, she's the head of the TM club. <laughs> ah. But I think you have to earn your way into that club. <laughs> oh my gosh, this came out so splotty. I can't even see with the white on it, my leaves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like it still. I do like it. It's very subtle. It makes some fun things. It's just, uh, it's messy. Modeled. But that's okay. And you know, I'm thinking, oops. <sighs> I saw some really neat things. I wish I had more stencils. <gasps> oh my gosh. You guys, I do. I forgot that I got these new stencils. Well, they're not new. But I got them a while back doing my thrift shopping. Oh, and I also forgot that I had this nice hot coffee that is now cold. Hello, Brenda. Yes, ma'am. It sure is a gel press. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Pam. You guys are so funny. <laughs> oh, look at these. They're so cool. And I can't tell. I had to pick some pieces out of them. So I'm wondering if someone actually made them on this. They bought the Mylar and actually laser cut them. That's what they look like. So maybe I'll make a pretty, maybe I'll make a pretty fall one. Maybe I will do this. Uh, should I do this? Oh no, I think I'll start with the light. If your coffee was in a bubble cup, it would still be hot. That's right. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> Leah, no graffitiing the word, naughty words on the walls. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try this. I will try the deli um, paper again, Jim. I'm trying to uh, use it now. See if I can get, get it down. Practice. <laughs> That's so funny that you guys are talking about that because, you know, that little emoji. Yeah. When, <laughs> when Willie and I first started seeing each other, he was he picked up one. It's like a wind up one, and gave it to me. And I was like, "What the heck? Like, I feel so insulted that you gave me this." He's like, "No, because I gave it to you because I think that you're the that, that I'm it." And I'm like, "Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you." I wasn't sure how to take it. Ah, oh, I love this. Okay. Now I think I'll go blue. But I think I need to let it dry for a minute. Yes, that. And now I have a little plush one and it hangs on a keychain thing and it hangs in my rearview mirror. <laughs> yep. I need to invest in one of those little fans that um, I think it's Nicole Watt that has one. She has this cute little handheld fan that's battery operated that she got on Amazon. And oh God, I might not have waited till it was dry enough. I was hoping I did. Mm. Yeah, a little fan would be nice. Oh, I hope this comes out good because I think this is going to be my last one. Can I get a print from... I, I don't know. I don't think I can. I don't think I can, Jim. I, um, it's so thin. It's like practically dried. I don't know this deli. I can't get used to the deli. It's not drying enough for me. Like, look. Oh! So, very quickly, Don's going to stick a piece of paper on there and see if I can pull the rest. I think Maureen's saying she doesn't believe that you had nothing to do with it, Leah, after saying that you graffitied all over your house. Oh. oh, hi, Linda. How are you? I messaged you earlier. Uh, 
So even this one's funky. I wonder if I can get one more good something something out of it. Maybe this. Maybe I'll try this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use a... Um, I'm going to use a metal paint. Where is my copper? Where's the copper paint? Copper paint, where are you? I hope someone else tries the... Um, where in the heck is the copper paint? I hope someone else tries the um, bronze, gold, gold, oh, copper, duh. The um, laser thing, like some of you that have laser printers, like Elizabeth, don't you have a laser printer? And I think I'm going to use this one for this. Um, I'd like to see if somebody else can pull off the um, the prints from the laser printer. I bet it would work good from a printout. Oh, so pretty! Alright, Jim. It's a little wet. I'm going to try to lay it down. gold I used the copper I should have been gold so yeah if you I, I, I would like to see if somebody else can do and pull it off I couldn't I guess I I can't get the right consistency but you can go over these little foiling sheets and um, earlier I had one that came out kind of and I you and it and it looked it looked okay but the lines weren't th thin uh, thick enough there wasn't enough contrast, but then I couldn't get it right because I was live, and that you know, you know how that goes when you're live. <laughs> All right, let me try this. Pull this off. Oh, not a lot. It actually grabbed some of my paint, but that's okay. I like that. I like it a lot. I want to figure out. All right, this is it. This is for the for the win. <clears throat> there we go. One thing led to another. Look, <laughs> this is how my hands were <clears throat> earlier. Mm-hmm. There it is. Ta-da! Yeah. Yeah, Leah, you could make some awesome prints for your uh, junk journals. And all the colors that you like. But that's it, guys. That's all she wrote. I've been going on almost two hours, so time to... The deli paper wasn't a good choice, but you know what? It might be the deli paper. <clears throat> you know how those kits you get on Amazon? That's what this was. It was like a gel plate kit for card making. That's why it got the 5x5. Five five. <clears throat> and it came with all these little prints <clears throat> to make card fronts, stuff for cards. This, and like I said, the little, um, it came with little pots of paint, which I used before I started a collecting a little at a time, some bigger bottles. And my paint is probably not a good choice, you guys. Like, I'm using this cheap paint, you know. A lot of artists that do the gel pulls, they have really nice paint. Bye, Melissa. Thank you for coming in, Pam, and I hope you feel better. And you're welcome for the live. Anytime you want one, just text me. That's what I did for Cordelia Sunday night. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Brenda.
You guys all have a great evening, and I will see you all tomorrow on Elizabeth's channel. Leah, thanks for staying up. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, Brenda. I'll see you guys. Take care.